<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hello there, ladies and gentlemen! You all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play Raging Loop! Last time we left off, we had another chance to investigate a few other individuals this time around, including uh, Chikamochi and Haru. Now, we've seen that Haru was being a little weird. It's almost like she knew about the looping, uh, but they said no, it's because of mental illness. And the Moji was just kind of always acting weird this time around. And when I investigated them, sure enough, Mochi is another wolf, but Haru is human. However, we woke up and Takumi wanted to kill us, and he did if you choose a wrong answer. But we revealed who we are to him, and he revealed that two people died today. Being Haru and Mamiya-san, one of the wolves. So, something odd's going on here. As the three of us went uphill, an unpleasant reek tickled our noses. We arrived at concrete stairs near a dorm. Fusashi, watch where you're stepping. I thought there was no deeper meaning behind those words. But then I saw the blood near my feet. A corpse. If I had recognized it as such, I would have assumed it was a piece of modern art. Not because it was beautiful, but because it seemed so artificial. She was... spread out. She was... whittled down. All parts of her were torn, pulled, stretched in all directions. She actually covered the entire staircase. Muscle, fat, skin, tendons, hair, keratin, or keratin enamel, mucus parts, muc whatever, cartilage, eye lenses, clotted blood, excrement. All that had compromised this adult lady yesterday had been spread out over a large surface. It felt like I was looking at a, a, an uh, anatomical drawing. It felt so artificial you can barely tell it was a dead human, but I didn't really know what to make of it. One thing was clear though. There was no special knowledge or intent behind this. It was pure, unadulterated violence that simply departed once it was complete. At the center of it all, you could find half of the bones needed to be needed to complete a human being. But a part of the face was still intact. Which clearly revealed the corpse belonged to Hisako Mamiya. She died outside her room. That was why he'd say that. Chiyumi covered her mouth. I told her she could vomit if she wanted, but she said she had nothing left in her stomach. She must have seen this one leaving the dorm and passing through here. We ended up avoiding the stairs and went up the steep slope instead. The grass below was wet. Thinking that some of it was caused by her fluids, I became somewhat disturbed. Haru-chan would have fainted if she saw this. That thought reminded me that she too was no longer with us, casting an even deeper pale or pall over a... Uh, Whatever. Uh, over the scene. We arrived at the dorm without anything else happening. Uh... Mochi was sitting on the stairs. It was the first time I'd ever seen him sad. Haru-chan's dead! I thought he was... unique enough to treasure something regardless if it was dead or alive. However, Haru-chan seemed, seemed to be an exemption for him. Last time, I'd find out that he liked her, but I wasn't sure if it was that simple. Nor did I see the point of thinking about it. Where is Yasu? Upstairs. Yasu! After getting no response, we walked past Mochi up to the second floor. The door closest to the stairs was open. Yasu, you hear? He was. He was on his knees, spacing out, looking utterly powerless. Get a grip. We're all gonna go look for the old man Kanzo. Yasu! Takumi-san rather, rather violently shook him, and Yosunaka Kun made his first sound. A whimper. He didn't want to accept that despair before his eyes, 
and kept his emotions from blowing up. I could see that in his face. It's my fault! The first thing he blamed was himself. It's the third day, and I still haven't found a single wolf! No! Takumi-san shook him again. This is all the wolf's fault! If not that, then it's my fault for not stopping old man Kanzo. Your work has just begun. Get a grip, Yasu. Chimi, take over. Yasukun. She opened her arms. Yosunaga Kun re refused the embrace, lightly pushed her aside, and left. She glanced back at me for a moment. Her expression felt hesitant to me. Or was I being too conceited? We'll be downstairs. Yasukun, wait up! Chimi chased after him and tried to take his hand. Then I lost sight of them. Man, this is just horrible. I heard it from Chimi, but still. Takumi-san looked back into the room. It's messed up. I felt the same way. It was nothing like the work of the wolves from last time. Kanzo-san had, Kanzo had his face crushed, and Takumi-san had been shot in the head. Last time, Yosunaga-kun and Tei-san had both, uh, had, been, had both prioritized the head. It was a brutal yet efficient way of qu uh, quickly taking out their target's lives. This, however, was the reverse. Haru-chan's empty, somewhat sad expression was preserved perfectly. Though stained by blood from her mouth, her deathly visage was even beautiful, in a sense. The rest of her body, though, was a complete mess. She was lying in a f on a futon, covered in aged, casual clothes. Uh, for some reason, it didn't look like she bled much. It was clear that she was beat up of a blunt instrument. Everything besides her head had been thoroughly crushed by something heavy. She was like a pancake from the neck down. Her limbs were bent in unnatural ways that made it seem like she had no bones. It was an excessive way to kill someone, and her face was clearly left untouched on purpose. It was openly malicious that the killer was toying with the victim. Profiling wasn't, wasn't my area of expertise, nor was I particularly good at it. However, I couldn't help drawing a certain conclusion. The wet, bloody footprints made it clear that this was, like last time, the work of the wolves. However, these wolves were far crueler than the previous bunch. Prioritizing the search for Kanzo-san, we left the cleanup for later and quickly returned to gather the others. Mochi and Yosunaga-kun joined us, and the five of us went to the Nosato mansion next to meet up with Kiyonosuke-shi, who was just passing through the gate. He was surprised that two people had died, but he was more bothered by the fact Kanzo-shi was nowhere to be found. It seemed to scare him. He has a gun, doesn't he? This seems dangerous. The old man I know would never use it on people. He's like a different person with the mist around, though, he added. Kanzo-san had already pointed his gun at people. Uh, Takumi-san didn't want to see Kanzo-san as a threat, but it was clear he didn't trust him completely. His blind faith in the locals had vanished overnight. It probably wasn't virtuous in a general sense, but in the current situation, that na nativity had been his only weak weakness. We then went to Taesan's house, passing the supposedly empty construction site along the way. Weird that they mentioned said it like that. We still couldn't find Kanzo-san or anything out of the ordinary. After that, we went back to the plaza. In the dining hall, we found Yoshisuku kun and the women, who were now dressed. Who were now dressed? They looked worried, but aside from that, everything was normal here too. We left Kiyonosuke Shi and Yosunaga kun there as some extra defense. Yosunaga kun was still in a state of shock, and everyone wordlessly agreed that he should be with his family now. Then we went to the north downhill, but we still couldn't see, find anything. Takumi-san then parted some bushes for some reason, and it turned out the old wolf guy lived around here. This made me realize that I hadn't seen his place yet. 
Once we arrived there, my first impression was that he didn't even look like a house. It was more like a wooden shed or a storage room with frames that were barely stable and a door that didn't seem to fit properly. It also didn't seem like it would qualify as shelter. It wasn't all that much better than the outhouse I had, li I had hidden in. Around it, there were lots of useless things, like small pieces of cloth and rusty farming tools. Apparently, he had a tendency to go around Yasumisu and collect, or steal, these sorts of things. He wasn't in the hut. The open door made us nervous, but there was no, there was no dead body inside. After uh, some more searching, we found the old man guy laughing around the pine, and he joined us. We now knew the whereabouts of everyone except Kanzo-san and the body count remained at two. We then checked Kanzo-san's house again, but it was still empty. And so we returned to the dining hall. Despite the tension, Kyori-san began making food. Well, it was important to stay well fed, so no one grumbled. It was rice gruel again, but no one complained about that either and just ate up. The students and Chiyomi didn't seem to have an appetite though. We then talked about what we would do, what we do next. It was about seven o'clock. The fact that none of us had seen Kanzo-san yet was unnerving. Takumi-san insisted we go searching again, but the others began to think that it was a waste of time. Some assumed that he either left the settlement, got stuck in some pond or a field, or was taken by the corruption. Though those were all major problems that, that would require us to find him ASAP, most just didn't want to continue this. It seemed to me that, while Kanzo-san may have had a lot of influence here, and many depended on him, a lot of villagers had a latent aversion to him. In the end, though, we just couldn't ignore the possibility that he might have been lurking somewhere with his gun in hand. Once again, for the first time in this loop anyway, a search party was sent out. Takumi-san, Chiyomi, Mochi, and I all went around the, uh, the Misty Settlement, but we couldn't find him. Just what's going on here? No clue. I feel like we're wasting time here. I had no evidence, but I felt the same way. Soon enough, we just went back to the plaza. Fu Fusiki, fu well, I can't even say the, the fake name. Fusakyuki san Miko-chan. It was a while since I've spoken to her. We hadn't spoken. Uh, we haven't talked once yesterday. It seemed like it'd be a while until she found out my name. What's wrong? Where's Rikaku-san? Oni-chan is talking about some difficult stuff, so I'm playing outside. Where? Do, what's the? Where are the people in the dining hall doing? What if someone? Uh, what if something happens to this girl? Well, Miko-chan voted for Teba as well, yeah. Ba. Anyway, what's up? I saw Oji-chan. What? Oh man, what are you doing? He had been right under our noses. Specifically, the, ha the hall where we held the fe feasts. Well, frankly, I'm surprised he didn't even go there. I mean... Yeah, whatever. He was exactly where he would be during the feast. Right next to him was an empty bottle of divine sake. Kanzo Jichan, I bought Haru Jichan. Don't say it. He pushed away the bottle and stood up. He didn't seem the least bit drunk. In fact, his eyes were even sharper than usual. Haru's gone. All that's left is to bring an end to the feast. That's it. In other words, the daily morning patrols he was always doing were for Haru Chan's sake. So now that she was gone, this was the only place for him. So you're waiting? He replied with silence and sat down again, bringing his hunting rifle closer to him. I'll call everyone. It ain't time yet. If we let you wait here, everyone's gonna be nervous. Don't care. Give me the gun. We'll put it back. Go back! Give me the gun! Instead of replying, Kazusan took his gun and aimed at Takami-san.
Go back to the dining hall and wait till noon. The scene seemed symbolic to me. Kanzo-san wanted to lead by force and demonstrated it with his killing instrument. At this point, no one could get in the way of him leading the feast. But then, something I didn't expect happened. Well, damn, okay. Well, that's a new uh, image there. Hold on, let's, take, let's take a better look at it. Damn. Like, they're both powerful. I mean, even with Kanzo being an older man, like, he's ripped. And even if Takumi's ripper, and like, damn. Okay. All right, look, look, look at that going on there. It was right when Kanzo-san Tsune had finished talking. Takumi-san grabbed the front of the gun of his hand, pushed it aside, took a step forward, and punched Kanzo-san right in the face. I also didn't expect the old man to instantly retaliate. In less than a second, Kanzo-san let go of the gun and threw a punch into Takumi-san's face. No! Blood gushed out of Takumi-san's face. Uh, wait. The blood gushed out as Takumi-san's face was distorted in pain. However, that wasn't enough to take him out. Ugh! A slap from the left hand. The base of the palm cleanly hit Kanzo-san's face, and the old man was thrown backwards. He hit the wall behind him with a loud crunch, but even then, Kanzo-san stood up clearly ready for more. Ugh. It was an opening. I grabbed the hunting rifle. Huh? And gave it to Chiyomi. Things were going so fast, I forgot that I wasn't supposed to know what, what she, uh, that she knew her way around guns yet. Chi! Take it apart or throw it away! But Takumi-san understood my intention. Ah! Right! Chiyomi turned around. Kanzo-san tried to chase after her, but Takumi-san, Mochi, and I held him back. I know how you feel, but guns are unfair. So what? Can't trust no one. I gotta protect Yasumisu. What else can I do, huh? You can trust someone. Takumi-san glanced at me, but I couldn't I couldn't agree with him in, in this situation. I could reveal myself to Kanzo-san, but not in front of Mochi. Even if someone had been eavesdropping on us, even when I when I told Takumi-san, it still wasn't a time to reveal it. There's one thing that's clear. The wolves went for Haro-chan to get to you, Makashima-san. You understand that, don't you? Making the situation even harsher, like you are right now, is exactly what they want. Don't act like you know. I do. After all, everyone is starting to fear you. You're the ones who started it! If it weren't for the gun, I'd be apologizing for suspecting you by now. Then they fell silent and glared at each other. Mochi, get everyone here. We should start the feast right now. You're right. I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to leave the old man alone. Kanzo-san grunted, displeased, but offered no more protests toward uh towards starting the feast. Honestly, there was no real reason why the time for when the feast started had been decided when it was. Kanzo-san was only doing it on the same time as the first day. The fact that he insisted on the usual time so strongly that he brandished his gun over it made me feel like he was more obsessed with control over the situation than actually talking things through, or thinking things through. At the base of it all, there was mistrust. He couldn't trust anyone, so he simply repeated whatever, whatever had brought him success so far. It'd be good if that led to our victory. But the feast really had to be approached like a game. There was no single way to win it, and there were co and there was competition. If you could read the enemy's strategy, you could also outplay. You could also outplay them. That was significantly easier from the, for the wolves. It was best to assume they understood exactly how Kanzo-san thought. That was why they targeted Haru-chan. It was necessary to rethink our own strategy. It would all depend on how today's feast went, especially for myself, since I was a snake and had to survive no matter what. Everyone drink? Yes. 
All right. We're starting the feast. Otto was killed by the wolves last night. Her body's still in her room. We won't let her death go to waste. We'll find the wolves and end, it, and end this hell. It might even happen today. There was whispering. The people wondered it, wondered if it was that real, if it was really possible. Takumini, I'd love to do that, but what are you planning? Can't say that yet. Good move. I hadn't explained my intentions to him yet, but he had a vague idea what I was planning. The keyword was fixed majority. If he understood that clearly, we would have a chance at winning. Think we'll believe you if you don't tell? After all that happened today, I'm kind of worried Kanzo-san wouldn't say anything, but that wasn't what happened. He also wait wanted to give all give his all to end this feast with a victory. That was why he couldn't just stay quiet and let us all die, and continue pushing his strong approach to the feast, denying other ideas. Yeah, I can't say it. That might change, though. By the way, what were you planning to do today? <laughs> Hang everyone who voted for Teba. I knew it. I could hear wh whispers of perplexion, perplexion, and perplexion and fear. His targets today would be the four who voted for Taysan yesterday and didn't die last night. Basically, the old wolf guy, Yoshisugu-kun, Rikaku-san, and Miko. Hold on! Why?! The journalist was a wolf. How do you know? Because her corpse is outside. The Sonaga couldn't soon have recovered a little and, that w and was now doing what he, had to, what he had to do again. In a feast, you're supposed to get one death per day and one per night. The fact that two died in one night means that something unusual happened. Haru-chan was dead in her own room because she was visited by the wolves. Mamiya-san's body was outside her room. And judging by its state, she was probably taken about a corruption. Haru-chan was in a bad state too. Well, I know, but her case was still something that could have been done by humans. Mamiya-san's was a whole other level. <laughs> what about it? She just walked around at night, didn't she? Yeah, exactly. Then why would she be a wolf? Wasn't it the old hag? That's because... Wait, Yasu, let me say it. Okay. That woman was acting weird all day. The old man said he'd hang her, so I can't say I, did, I don't get her. What would happen What would happen if her death was all but certain? An outsider would try to escape Yasumisa, right? She thinks she could run away. But the lady didn't do it. Yeah, she, she hadn't even tried to run. What of it? If you're planning, if you're running away, it's better to do it during the day. Even with the mist, you can still you can see stuff a bit better in the light. You can't see anything at night. There's really no reason not to run away during the day. The mist could hide her and let her escape without us realizing it. If she'd run away yesterday, after we all split up in the evening, she could have gotten to the very edge of Yasumizu. But that's not that's not where she succumbed to the corruption. Uh, maybe she had some other reason for going out at night. Uh, about that. Anyone else but me here try to stay awake at night? <laughs> the question came out of left field, but Yosunaga-kun, Chiyomi, Yoshisuku-kun, and I raised our hands. Didn't you say you stopped? Uh, we ain't talking about going outside, are we? I took a stick to my futon in case someone came for me. You went against the law of dreaming? Yeah. Just two nights ago, like Yoshi. I grabbed the weapon and waited for something to come, but I still ended up falling asleep. Okay, believe that? The whole thing's such a crisis. You shouldn't be able to fall asleep at all, yet before you know it, you wake up and it's morning. It's not that you're, you're not allowed to stay up late. You just can't. It's one of the things that freaks me out about the feast. You should know it if you try to stay up. Only the wolves can move around at night. Well, that's... Well, that's because she was an outsider. Outsider or not, the feast is above us all. If being an outsider was an excuse, the journalists wouldn't have fallen victim to the corruption. I had the mysterious experience of being spared by hiding in a toilet, but I had no choice but to stay quiet this time. Hashimoto-san, the large cameraman died by going out at night, didn't he? I don't know much about that, but 
If I gotta guess, he died because he wasn't sheltered properly. Cleanse, shelter. As long as you have those two covered, you'll definitely fall asleep. But if you stayed outside right from the start... It's just an assumption, though. Yeah, it is. You can ignore it if you want. But if the woman was a, if the woman was a human, she had no reason to risk going outside. She's a wolf who was walking around at night, messed up somehow, and got punished for it. That's the only possible explanation. Yosanaka kun and Yoshi Yoshisugu kun both fell silent. They couldn't agree against. They couldn't argue against that anymore. Anyway, yeah. Sure, it was strange how we just somehow fell asleep, but there were cases of people going out at night, both this and the previous time. I'd have to think about it some more later. Did you know that too, Makashima-san? I want two, two kinds of people go out at night. Wolves, and humans who die like dogs trying to kill the wolves. With how, how, with how important a dreaming law was to the locals, it was natural for them to assume that anyone who went out at night was a wolf. When you looked at it like that, Yoshisuku-kun, who insisted on going out, was extremely reckless. Well, that's, that's why Hisako Mamiya was a wolf. So Bachan, who she set up as a wolf, was clearly a human. Well, ain't it possible that both of them were wolves? I fell for him. It was his vote that, that killed Taesan. Even if he was prepared for it, it was hard to justify. Well, that's... Not impossible, but extremely unlikely. No, it isn't. Hmm? Yamawaki, Yamawaki-san, who was hanged yesterday, was a human. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, the only, the only way you're gonna know that is if you're a crow, but there you go. I think that's everybody's role revealed, right? We have the two monkeys, we have the snake, and we have the crow. Um... Oh, we don't know what a spider is, though, do we? So we, we don't know who protected us, somebody, from the very first night. Hmm. Sorry for keeping it a secret so far, but I am the crow. What? Wait, what? Seriously? I shall take responsibility for my son's rudeness and his vote that killed Yamawaki-san. I am ready to take all the blame you, you give him, especially from Takumi-san who loved Yamawaki-san like a mother. So please, don't punish him. Her voice was sincere and sorrowful. She put her hands in front of her and placed her forehead on the floor. Stop! Stop! Hey, I'm the one who voted! You had nothing to do with that! Oh. That's probably how I looked yesterday. Takumini. Don't worry. I know. Kiyori-san, Yoshi. We ain't tell we ain't talking about who's to blame for Bachan's hanging. But No buts. No one said it was a mistake back then, so we're all to blame here. The votes that killed her are more like something to help us decide what to do, not some sins that get the noose around your neck. Is that, isn't that right, Yosunaga? Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. Are you sure though? Oops, sorry, I pushed the wrong button. I won't forgive the wolves or whoever got them the kill. I'm with the old man on that. Kanzo-san slightly opened his eyes, looking surprised he'd come up, but then looked away with him. Something's bothering me. Can I say it to Kumini? Yeah, of course. Do we have anyone else claiming to be the crow? Yasunaga. I know. I want to believe, but this is what this is what's expected to, of me here. Do we have any other crows besides Kiyori Aribe? Aniki, you damn! Yoshisugu, silence! Learn from his example! Yasukun. I felt like the power balance here in y Yasumisu was shifting. Kanzo-san was losing his influence, and Takumi-san's authority bridged the generations. That amplified Yasunaga-kun's voice, putting him back at the front. However, this was a temporary thing that could only last when Kanzo-san's high-handedness high was failing. It could be turned around if someone messed up, uh, or if someone messed up, or was hanged today and drove someone else over the edge. I will say this just in case, but if you're real and you're keeping your silence, 
you're being nothing but a burden for us. If you know Kiyori Aribe is fake and they stay silent despite that, you won't be recognized as real if you decide to claim so later. Understand? Those words felt like they were directed at me too. Scary. Looks like we have no one. Wait, we had no one come out against Mamiya's claim that she was a snake, and she turned out to be a wolf, didn't she? And now we have a whole three less people than, than yesterday. Isn't it a bit too early to decide who she's real just because no one is revealing themselves now? Yes, you are right. But the possibility that Tab Tab Taba or Mamiya-san were to crow is extremely low. Exactly. Tae-san would have re re revealed that before she was hanged, while Mamiya-san wouldn't have a reason to pretend to be a snake to begin with. There's nothing that says Haru-chan wasn't the crow, but I know that she was absolutely terrible at lying and keeping secrets. She didn't act like she was a hiding a guardian, and we were together most of the time. I'm confident I would have noticed any signs that she that implied that she was the crow. The possibility that Ki Kiyori Aribe is a wolf who realized that Haru-chan was a crow before I did and I killed her to take her spot is pretty much zero. There's also the possibility that Haru-chan hid her role until the end and the wolves just happened to hit the crow by killing her, but that's unlikely too. No none of those who died were the crow. Can you agree to that? Your proof that Haru Makashima wasn't a crow is thin and circumstantial. You weren't the only one close to her, were you? What if a wolf that was also close to her realized she had a guardian and, took and told Kiyori Aribe? You can't deny that possibility, can you? Yasunaga-kun kept his eyes straight. To me, it seemed like it was a way of preventing those doubts from taking root. Wait, did you just suspect me? No way, Mochi would never kill Haru-chan. Well, about that. I wouldn't be so certain, Shinny. But I don't believe he did either. What's your proof? What a strange silence. It didn't it didn't look like he had nothing it didn't look like he had nothing to say. More that it was hard for him to say it. Come on, you said it yourself, Uncle. I'm an eccentric. I can't understand how others feel. I was with Haru Chani Asum because they don't mind no matter what I do. All I know is that they're good guys. I don't even care about anything else. You should say it too, Yasun. Tell them that. Tell them that it, what it's like. Uh, what I'm like. I wouldn't say so. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Haru-chan was the crow and got killed because of it. I think the crow is still alive, and it's her. Yes, I am the crow. Hmm. I see. Very well. Even I understand I am pushing of the theory, so I shall keep to myself a bit. However, since we can say the same thing about the snake as well, that means the real one is still alive, right? He was right. That was, a, that was the right way to look at it. And it was true. Let us push aside the reason why he or she didn't say anything about uh, when the fake came out. Is there a guarantee that the same thing isn't happening again? What if another thing's shown up and the real one's keeping the silence, just like yesterday? You're just pushing it again. There's no way she's lying. If the journal was a wolf, then the old hag was human, damn it! Even a fake has no reason to lie. If the goal is to make people trust you, it's best to speak the truth. Even if another crow shows up today, they could, e they could only tell us the truth we already know. That Tei, uh, Tei Yamawaki was human. And we have no way to tell whether Lady Oribe or the other one was the real crow. His assertion was a bit cynical but accurate. If he was the modest and cautious one, he would be way more valuable to the humans. I must object to that. After all, Mamiya-san was a wolf who wanted to use the Guardian sur to survive. However, Kiyori Aribe revealed her guardian while begging to take all the blame for Yoshitsugu Aribe. It's neither wise nor right, but I believe it's the real her talking, not the cunning of a wolf. Hmm. The foolishness, the foolishness proves it, you say? That is my reason for believing Kiyori Aribe. 
Like, Gucci's wife can't uh, gonna protect Yoshi even if he's a wolf. My heart skipped a beat. Kanzo san's voice was like a rumble, and just like before, it was dense and gloominess and anger. He had a point, too. If it were for her son, uh, Kyori san was capable of breaking the feast's mental shackles. You old fart! He's not that type of guy. He spoke forcefully. If he was a wolf, he'd declare it and go around killing us directly. That's just how he is. He's like our parents. He's like our parents. Straightforward, stubborn, and won't accept anything that doesn't sit right with him. Not even God. Oh, is that going to send Chime off? I guess not. If he had to die to prove Kyori Arribe innocent, he'd surely do it. That's not something that I, the only slight coward in the family, can do. Yoshisugu is a human. Hey! Uh, Yoshisugu kun rose to his feet and howled at his brother. Don't act like you know shit! If you spent more time with mom, she'd. I do know! You know, my cunning comes from, from my Haiguchi blood. Mom has no reason to love me. She loves you way more! That's why I'm working hard and studying so I can pay her back with money and other things. You should be more grateful that she loves you just because you were bored honest, Yoshisugu. Why are you bringing yourself down so much? Anaki, listen up, you stu- Quiet, you two! The mother's voice quickly silenced her sons. Why are you fighting over such nonsense at a time like this? Kanzo, Makashima-san. The old man grunted in response to the, the mention of his name. I heard that when my late husband, Sadayoshi Haiguchi, died, there was there was mist in y Yasumisu. Did he die in a feast? Did you kill him? He got killed by the wolves on the first day. Oh man! I've been in two feasts. Only this old fart and I survived. Ah! Past? <laughs> what about it? Nothing. Even if you were the one who killed him, it was because of the feast. But know this, Yosunaga, Yoshisugu. I don't want to lose my family to the feast ever again. So please, work together. You are brothers, aren't you? I didn't say I have anything against that. Me neither. Hey, yeah, sorry to bother you, but this really ain't the time for a family feud. Come on down! The fact that the old, the old man's be, uh, been in a feast doesn't matter much. Right now, anyway. Kanzo-san clicked his tongue. I believe the Oribes. Yasu's a monkey. Well, Yoshi and Kiyori-san aren't the type to lie. That makes it all but clear that Te Teba-chan and Haru were humans. Well, the journal lady was a wolf. We have two more wolves and ten humans here. Out of them, the old man and, and Yasu are confirmed to be monkeys. It's likely that kiyori san is a crow. I trust Yoshi too, but it's not like we have any proof he's human, so I won't add him here. Fine by me. Now, how do we proceed? Well, if the still living real snake has the right info, this feast might be as good as over. There it was. What do you mean? If the snake reveals themselves and, s and states that two, m uh, two more of us are human, that would be six confirmed humans, meaning we, we, would have f uh, we would have half of the votes. With those six being confirmed, it would unlikely that the rest would vote for the same person, meaning that the victory would be as good as ours. Fixed majority. Exactly. And we would hang one of the six unknown, while the wolves would kill one of the six confirmed humans. Their primary target would be the snake, but it's, un it's likely that the spider is still alive. If he or she protects the snake tonight, we, uh, we would have one less confirmed human and one less unknown, and gain un un another confirmed human or wolf tomorrow. It would either become six humans and four unknown, or five humans, four unknown, and one wolf. The confirmed humans would, would become a majority regardless. This number couldn't be turned around, so we would just be- we would most certainly win. Hmm... But Snake's gonna find two humans? Even if he does find a wolf, we'll, he'll, uh, we'll only have to fi have five confirmed humans. In that case, even if we hang the wolf, 
would still be left with four confirmed humans and six unknown. The humans' victory wouldn't be ensured. Of course, hanging a wolf would give us a great advantage, and if the snake comes out, the wolves wouldn't keep quiet either. Personally, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I won't promise that I will most, I will certainly kill whoever reveals themselves. The snake's reveal could help bring certain things into the open. That was the opposite of Kanzo-san's approach. The old man clicked his tongue and some, and some squirmed uncom uncomfortably. But if the snake only looked into those who died, like Haru-chan, Yamawaki-san, and Mamiya-san, he, he or she should stay quiet. But if that isn't the case, I would like the snake to reveal to him or herself. I had to think. Was the info I had enough? I couldn't tell them that I'd use my looping to get, gather info. That was why I can only use re re reveal two results. One for yesterday and one for today. I'd already told Takumi-san that I checked out, checked and confirmed that he was a human. Thus, it was important for me to reveal that, that along with, some, with someone whose identity would help us. If I continued my silence, that might begin to believe that the snake wasn't fulfilling his duties properly. This was a do-or-die situation. And once again, we have another choice. Well, we have three choices to make. Now, once again, because I'm trying to get the bad ending, it's almost likely that by not revealing anything, that I am going to get killed because we're not going to have the majority anymore. Now, the other two, though, reveal Takumi is human and Chikamochi is a wolf. Or reveal Takumi and Kiyonosuke are humans. Because one, I assume one of those is going to lead to another bad ending, but I'm unsure what. Well, right now, first off, let's get the bad ending, I assume, by revealing nothing. No. No, not yet. I didn't have enough evidence to secure a fixed majority. That's a lie. I mean, that's if we didn't get the keys, but we have the keys. All I confirmed through my investigations as a snake being, being up to today was that Takumi-san was a human. That was all the information I could offer. Like Yosunaga-kun had said, this was a situation where the reward for revealing you had a guardian didn't match the risk. I hadn't even predicted kiyori san would reveal she had a guardian. I thought it happened a little bit after we secured a majority. It seems the snake still lacks decisive proof. Takumi-san shot me a glance. At first, he looked confused or somewhat annoyed but I, that I wasn't saying anything, but it seemed he soon caught on. It's still too early. Perhaps the snake truly is dead. That shouldn't be the case. But we can't be sure. Let's think about this. In the end, no one else revealed themselves to have a guardian and we reached a stalemate. With kiori sans reveal, we had now had three confirmed humans. Then again, I couldn't be completely sure she was telling the truth. I knew that Takumi-san and I were humans, but even when you included us... Damn it. It wasn't enough. And I didn't have any more clues. Enough! Let's vote already. Is there any anyone else anyone else who can do something? Though Kanzo-san's word wasn't final, without a valid plan uh, hammered out, a melee couldn't be avoided in the end. Oh! You! Yes, you! Just like the first day, the old guy, the old wolf guy voted for me. I'm voting for you. Two votes. I guess that wasn't surprising. The clash between Mamiya-san and uh, Tae-san may have temporarily distracted him, but he'd always been suspicious of me. Well, I'm going with Miko again. Though I managed to change things by cooperating with Takumi-san, this wasn't good. I'll vote for Uematsu-san. I'll vote for the Miko girl. Miko and I now had two votes each. For the old wolf guy. I'm going with Hassan. Crap. Now I was in the lead. I'm going with Fusachi too. Don't think I've forgotten how you said all that crap and ran off on the first day. Four votes. Not good. I'll vote for Miko-chan. I shall vote for the Yasumizu elder. Miko had three votes, while the old wolf guy had two. At this rate, all I could do was... Miko-chan. Ba? 
Looks like you, you and me are going to die soon. It all rides on your shoulders. Hey, you can't tell her stuff! That's against the rules! No, it isn't. Miko-chan, first, come up with a way not to die. The thing about who you want to be useful to. Even if it's not in the rules, I cannot approve of trying to forcibly sway a child's opinion. That's... But... Wait, we can't let ourselves get swayed by the whims of a kid. Miko, if you do not vote for the Yasumizu elder, that man will die. You bitch! Bah, then I'll vote for him. Yoshikun, don't bother. Miko-chan's in a pretty tight spot herself. But she and he... I vote for the old wolf man. That's a final vote. Thus, every everyone else vote on whether to hang the old wolf guy or I. In the end, the vote was 4-6. I was chosen. I was in a funeral procession of the prayer of Chitushinai. As a hapless lynch victim this time, I couldn't say the scenario had never crossed my mind, but it was still unexpected. The final vote should have been in my favor. I thought I could count on Takumi-san, Kiyori-san, Kiyonosuke-shi, and Chiyomi, the four who voted for Miko and Rikaku-san. But when the results came in, all of them, except for Takumi-san, had voted for me. None of them looked me in the eye. I didn't bother snapping back at, at them either. Well, now I understood. If I kept quiet, even those I was close to wouldn't doubt me. Uh, even those I was close to would doubt me. That was just how, suspe how suspect my conduct on the first day had been. That was just how impossible a hurdle Kanzo-san's request for me to, to die had been. I didn't like it, but all I could think about was how to survive next time. I am sorry. I truly am sorry, Haruwaku-sama. Hey, you got nothing to apologize for. Hanging in the feast is supposed to lead to salvation, right? Then I'm happy. Don't you remember? I originally came here to die. You were not supposed to die here! Why did you not flee? The way she said that in a voice only I could hear was so different from her, her normal self that, that I was startled. Rikaku-san? I am sorry. Rikaku-san, this way. No. Please, let me push him. I would be honored, Rikaku Uematsu-san. Haruwaki-san! Chimi looked at me with a tear teary visage. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I didn't trust you to the end. Chini, you don't need to apologize for anything. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry. Um, it's all right, Chimi-chan. I won't hold a grudge. Honestly, I'd definitely be irritated by having to return to the start all over again. Still, I decided to play the good guy until this time around. With this hanging, I feel like I've finally become a member of Yasumizu. Don't be a dumbass! I can hear guilt in his voice. Are you really okay with this? You're really gonna d just die without saying a word? Yes, I am. Not like they'll do me any good. No one would believe me if I reveal my guardian now. Besides, if I died, none of this would ever have happened. The lynching would have terrified me if I didn't think of it that way. Death abruptly handed to you was slightly different from death in the front in a fight you accepted. Multiple people's malice and apathy denied my existence by judging me less important than others. And so a consciousness, a consensus of those emotions sentenced me to death. To the creatures known as humans who survived through their bonds, that despair surpassed that of simply being killed. I was experiencing such an easily imaginable scenario myself at the moment. Get it over with. <laughs> Hurry up! Soar, Hassan! Screw you, Chia Mokji, what your stupid name is. You guys... Rokako-san lowered her head. Rise not! And muttered feebly. And muttered feebly. Rise not. 
don't come back. Asla, Yomi, Pito, and our enemy, don't come back. She pushed me weakly with the force of a gentle breeze. I fell backwards, soared through the air, and fell. And with a sudden impact, my consciousness faded into a void not unlike the dense mist surrounding me. Notice how they even changed the game over screen a little bit by including the noose this time around. Hmm. Well, bad ending number 16. All right. Let's watch the hint corner. Uh, this was a hard one. Uh, chin up. Let's see, information de deficiency death. If this was the only choice you could make, that means all the people you investigated and got keys from are dead. Right. So that that's what's important here. By investigating someone in the feast of the power of the snake, Haruaki Fusashi contains the uh, information as keys. However, there is some truth of the blah, blah, blah keys that have nothing to do with advancing the story. In this case, having two keys for the dead proved to be pointless. Of course, it's not pointless that you're aiming to get all the keys, but you need to find useful keys to progress here. To get the keys, you'll first to go back to the Investigations 1 and 2. If you already have the keys, just go back to the Declared Guardian. Alright. And he asked the thing. I, so this will be the point where if you didn't get all the keys, you should do so. But since I've already done so, well, here we go. But now we still have another choice because, like, one of these is going to lead, you know, progress. And I assume the other one is going to kill us. But I'm trying to think what it could be because, frankly, um, the big thing here of revealing ourselves is that we need to do so if we can basically confirm a majority of votes and it, like a fixed majority that people are human and I think we can do so by saying for sure Takumi and Kiyonosuke are humans like it's like look at all look at, look at all those certainties right there but if I say if I reveal myself and say Takumi is human and that Chikamochi is a wolf I'm either going to get targeted still like, to be hung, or I'm going to get targeted by the wolves later that night. So I think this is what's, is, this is what's going to lead me to a, a bad ending, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it. I had the evidence to reveal myself. I had a safety plan all set up. However, I also knew it was a ticking bomb that would likely throw things into chaos. Still, I'd already made up my mind, so I couldn't hesitate. Yes. Everyone looked at me like when I raised my hand. I was nervous, but now that I've spoken up, all that was left for me to go, I just had to go with the flow. I, Haruaki Fusashi, am the snake. I informed them without hesitation. I investigated Takumi Murosan and Chikamochi Kamoshida-kun. Takumi Murosan is a human, and Chikamochi Kamoshida-kun is a wolf. What was that? Mochi's a wolf. Everyone fell silent for a moment. Naturally, there was some there was there was, commo there was much commotion and chaos over my sudden announcement. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Chica Mochi's a wolf? That's that's not impos impossible, but why'd you investigate him? Yeah. Besides, didn't you already say that he didn't have a guardian? I didn't say anything back then because that was a high probability I would have been killed if I revealed myself. Obviously, I knew Mami Asan was lying about being the snake, but none of you would have had any idea. If we both survived, the spider wouldn't know which of us to protect, so I couldn't guarantee my safety. If I had said something, the wolves would have been perfect, would have had the perfect opportunity to find and kill the real snake. Oh, I see. Take this seriously, Mochi! Don't you get it? You're being accused of being a wolf! Hmm. Well, that's true. It's probably because I already know I'm not a wolf. Which means that Hassan would be the real wolf here, I guess. I suppose that idea makes sense. But if Mommy Hassan was a wolf, would, would another wolf really try to play a snake again? We still don't know if the journal lady was a wolf. You guys kept... what? Nah, I call BS on that. You guys are all pretty damn certain about that. 
Kanzo-san tried fighting back. You can't tell these city folk. Whether she was a wolf or whatever, maybe she went out and wanted to die. What, should I take that as a sign of support for Chikamochi Ka Kamoshida? His silence was not primarily out of doubt for me, but just the same old habit of his. I believe I was asked why I looked into him. The reason is because he wasn't acting like himself. He's normally sharper than this, but not the type who keeps quiet about his ideas. Yet this time, he's chosen his words quite carefully. Almost like he's saying he can't act on his intuition. Hmm. You talk like you've seen me do that before. See, this was exactly a part of him that scared me. That was merely my opinion, and the observation that led me to investigate you. That's all. Please don't read too deeply into it. I will! If, you, if you've known about us for a while, maybe you're a spy or something sent by the village head. There's also your odd tendency to be aggressive toward just me that caused me to suspect you. Like just now. I took a peek at everyone's faces. Yasunaga kun was staring at the ground, lost in thought. Takumi-san was bewildered, as he should be. Fusashi, are you saying Chikamochi killed Haru? Kanzo's eyes widened. Apparently he'd finally understood that a suspected wolf can be the one who killed his granddaughter. Yes, that would be the case. As if! I care about Haru-chan and Yasu more than any anything else! Sorry to Rick-chan and the others, but I really don't care about Shinai-san, the rules, or the feast. So, how could someone like that kill Haru-chan? If you truly are mad, then you have motive enough. After all, people can... A mad people can treasure their loved ones whether they're alive or dead. It makes no difference to them. Hmm. True. Cut it out, Mochi! Did you really... Hmm. This is a pain. Hey, Asan, I'm no good at this kind of stuff, so go for go a little easy on me, will you? Sorry, but I can't let my guard down around you. I've learned well over the past few days that your brain is on a different wavelength than everyone else's. Yasukun, don't we have enough? Don't we have any proof that Mochi didn't do it? You should already realize that, but no, I don't. Don't you have anything, Mochi? Hmm. Sorry, I didn't plan for that. I didn't plan that far ahead. But do you really want to suspect me? Chika Mochi Kun does seem to be acting the same as always. But even if he was given a role of wolf, I can easily see him maintaining his presence of mind. And his stance is essentially to not think for himself. He just followed Yasunaga Kun and voted for Nosato san each time so far. Fortunately for him, his disposition wasn't suspected, but I actually think it was a pretty cunning way to act. So long as someone Yasunaga-kun didn't want to view as an enemy was a wolf, that wolf could stay safe by following his lead. Yasunaga-kun is a monkey, and therefore definitely human. To leave the vote to him is the same as having a wolf give up their vote entirely. But if Chikamoche Komashida was to stay that way only to suddenly vote for someone else, we'd just dismiss it as an act of him uh, acting on a whim. In the end, he was in a position where he could vote freely without attracting, attracting suspicion. God, you're relentless! I didn't really have anything to say, so staying quiet just makes um, uh, makes me look fishy. But that's just a feast of the Yomi Purge. Then why not just hang me? Mochi, please, say something, anything! Tell us you're not a wolf. Mm, I'm not a wolf. Look at me. Come on, Yasun. You know I'm not the type who looks others in the eye when talking. I don't even look at- I don't even look at other people, he said with a smile. The vote was held afterwards. Yasunagu- oh my god, Yasunaga-kun ab ab abstained from voting. You can do that? Oh, okay. He abstained from voting. Chimi, kiyori Sad, and kanzo Sad, and Mochi all voted for me, while the rest voted for Mochi, sealing his fate. Hey, Yasun? Don't cry. I'm sorry, Mochi. I'm sorry I couldn't save you. Ah, hey. You know, no need to be sorry. I've done some bad things. Does that mean... I'm not a wolf. I just didn't have it... I just didn't have what it took to beat Hassan. You're a wolf. Don't leave me. 
without you or Haruchan, I'll be all alone. You got mommy, Kiori, and y Yoshi, don't you? When it comes to them, I. No. Forget it. What? You want a kiss or something? Cut it out, idiot. Mm, sorry. These are my last moments, and I still don't know what to do in times like these. Okay. Do it, Yasun. Rise not. Rise not. Yasunaga couldn't push forward. Shikamochi and Kamashita fell into the mist, and the rope went taut. Mochi! Everyone stood there frozen in place while, while I headed for the plaza. I felt sick. Hey, Fusachi. Hey, Fusachi. Takumi-san caught me, caught up with me. He really was a wolf, wasn't he? No doubt about it. But... Yes. He died as a human to the very end. I kept getting the urge to tell him to quit playing the victim and glorifying this. I wanted to tell Yosunaga-kun that this was the guy who killed the girl who was like his own sister and smiled like nothing was wrong. But what good would that would have done me? It'd probably uh, be Mamiya-san all over again. The shock Yosunaga-kun will feel when all is revealed will be unfathomable. But there's nothing else I could do. Sounds like you're really fretting over this. Sorry. Don't be. I'm a member of Yasumizu too. I will fulfill my duties as a snake while bearing the responsibility of Mochi's death to the very end. Thanks. It was good I, I've gotten Takumi-san on my side, but as a whole, it didn't feel like any of this had gone well. It left a really bad taste in my mouth. After that, I lost my job at the kitchen. Well, I hadn't exactly lost it, but since kiyori san had voted for me, I was restraining myself. Yeah, I'm I'm probably going to die here. And the reason why is because, once again, it makes me look suspicious somewhat, but at the same time, the other wolf now knows that I am the snake for sure, and they're going to want to get rid of me, so... Even though we're down to two wolves and the humans almost won, I still can't get out of this unscathed. Yoshisugu kun took over to work while I secluded myself in my hut. It was Takumi san who suggested it. He said it was best I watched I watched out for any potential attacks now that it was out that I was a snake. He also took over testing the food for poison. I remember what he said. He said if the spider's still alive, I've said they should protect you. If you're telling the truth, then there's just one wolf left. Oh, wait, this is, this is new. Never mind. If you're telling the truth, then there's just one wolf left. I want to sell this as quickly as possible. So I told him I'd do everything I could. I felt like Takumi-san and I had grown rather close. And no, not in a way that I, that would make BL fangirls squeal of joy. <laughs> I gratefully took my food and was happy to get away from the melancholy atmosphere that lingered after Mochi's death. Takumi-san was right. Just one wolf was left. And from my point of view, I had four, no, five candidates left. One day may not, may not have been enough for to corner them. Did I have any ways to ensure I could end it tomorrow? No. This was a problem. For now, I investigate who I consider the most suspect. As long as the spider protected me, the rest would be a, the, the rest would be a war of attrition. In that case, I'd have to aim to end it tomorrow. However, I never woke up after that night. Why? What happened to me? I didn't even know. I felt not even the slightest bit of pain or suffering in my deep slumber. But like the dense mist outside, my sleep appeared to have engulfed everything and it became a shroud not of this world. Did the spider not protect me? In the end, the loser wasn't even allowed to entertain that thought. Game over. So, I mean, it does suck. I, I mean, I was you would hope that the spider would protect me, but I would as well now I would assume the spider may have been one of the people who voted for me. So, like, who who they say voted for me? Like Kiyori San, Chiyomi. Uh, hold on, I, I think the log is it mentions it somewhere. Um. Let's see. Actually, no, I think that's... I went a little bit too far. 
Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Crap. Where did it mention that? Who, who voted for me? Oh, crap. Maybe I may have missed it. Either way, we're dead. We'll watch the hand corner. I'm sure he's going to tell us, like, hey, pick the other option. The only one that's left. Uh, this is a rather mysterious bad ending, so I'll give you a more a precise counter strategy. Mysterious mochi hang death. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Not yet, anyway. What I can say is I didn't know, like, I didn't, it didn't seem like you were killed by the wolf. The spider should have been protecting you and all. It'll be a while until this mystery is solved, so try a different choice for now. Oh, the choice is locked? What, you don't have key 11? Then go and uh, either investigation one or two. If you got the keys, go back to the declared guardian and pick the right choice. Ah, so this one might be the biggest roadblock in Raging Loop. So don't worry if you got if you got it. Uh, and just press on. This was this was the biggest obstacle? It wasn't that hard though. Uh I don't know. And once again, I feel that this all comes back down to the type of game this is. You know, being a kinetic visual novel. I just want to solve more things on my own. You know, like it, I like the story. Don't get me wrong. I, I, I'm i very intrigued about it. It's like, but it's doing all the thinking for me. It's like, yeah, here and there I'll pick choices and then everything will be unraveled. But like when I have gameplay to do myself, I'm the one who's thinking about it. I'm the one who's trying to solve it myself. Like, for, for example, in Genosha, I mean, you were playing the werewolf game numerous times and looping over and over and over again uh, until like more and more of the story revealed itself. Like, that was up to you to use logical reasoning and deduction to figure out who was who. And even though, like, I I don't think I was the greatest at that game, but eventually I kind of, like, got some things here and there, and I, I eventually won. Here, it's like, yeah, just pick a choice and you'll you'll get it eventually, you know? So it is what it is. Um, What was this one called? Deadlock and then Lamentation. Hey, okay. So, yeah, that means the only choice we have left is, uh, here is kind of what I was thinking. By saying who the humans are and withholding about Chikamochi, we are at least getting a fixed majority of humans right now. Um, but the problem is, at least what I'm, no, what I was going to say is like well the only problem I have with this is like the humans uh, wolves are still gonna know that I'm a I'm a snake, but this should hopefully give me enough, um, if you want to say respect from everybody, that the spider will protect me moving forward. So we'll see what happens, but for the time being, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for today. Next time, we'll go and pick this uh, choice and see what else is going to happen. Like, I feel like we're getting really close to some stuff, but um, I guess only time will tell. So, as usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play Raging Loop. Love you all so much. Have a great day.